Hi everyone, in this second tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Budographer to design a couple of brick stitch ornaments. The first one is a clownfish design that I made by tracing over a photograph. The second one is a cardinal, which I made by converting a photograph into beads. In my earlier tutorial, I covered all the basics of Budographer, like starting a new file and using the draw tool. If you've not used Budographer before, make sure you watch that tutorial first. There's a link in the description, or you can go to beadographer.com slash guide and find the link there. The focus of this tutorial will be working with images that you upload. We will see how to trace over an image and how to convert it into beads. Let's start by making the clownfish. I'm going to click on the image tool, which lets me upload either a JPEG or a PNG file to the canvas. When the image loads, we can position it on the canvas by dragging it. Another set of tools also appears that gives us more options. We can change the image size by moving this slider, and we can change its opacity with this slider. We can also rotate the image by dragging this red dot. If I select another tool, the image is now locked in place. The image can only be moved when the image tool is selected. I'll select the image tool again because I want to change the opacity of the image. Because we're going to trace the image, we'll reduce the opacity down to a little under half. I'm also going to increase the size of the image a little bit. Now we're going to choose the draw tool and trace over the shape of the fish. It doesn't matter if we don't get the colors perfect at this point, we can always change them later. I'm going to start by coloring the black and white areas and then I'm going to fill in the orange areas. Sometimes I'll use the paint tool to quickly fill in an area that I'm working on. Okay, it's a good start, but it's lacking some detail. If we look at the original picture, we can see there are some darker orange parts that help us see the fins and the shape of the fish more clearly. So I'm going to trace the darker parts with a darker orange. Finally, I'm going to clear up some of the lines and make the design a bit simpler. I'm also going to improve the colors with the color select tool. And there we have it, the completed clownfish. For the cardinal, I'm going to start by uploading an image like I did before. I'm going to rotate the cardinal a bit so that his beak can align with the direction of the beads. Now instead of tracing, I'm going to convert the image into beads by going to the menu and selecting Convert Image. We have a couple of choices here. The first choice asks us how many different colors we want to use in the conversion process. Photos typically have thousands of colors, we need to reduce the number of colors so that we can recreate the photo with beads. I'm going to choose 10 colors for now. The second choice asks us if we want to use beads from the library. This is asking us whether we want to convert the image using specific products in our currently selected bead library. For now, I'm going to select Use All Colors, which means that it won't choose specific products in the conversion process. Now that the image has been converted, we can see the result by making the image completely transparent. It may take a few attempts to get a result that you like from this process. Just try out different options on the conversion menu and see what works. I want to create a palette out of all the beads that the conversion process used. To do this, I'm going to go to the menu and select Canvas to Palette. Now the beads in the palette match all the beads on the canvas. I want this brick stitch ornament to contain just the bird and not the sky, so I'm going to use the color select tool to get rid of all the white and gray beads on the canvas, like this. I'm using backspace to delete the beads quickly after selecting them. Now if I select canvas to palette again, I can see that there are five styles of bead left on the canvas. I'm going to edit the project using the draw tool. I can pick up different colors from the canvas by using the eyedropper tool, which I can also access by pressing Y on the keyboard. I can also quickly change to the eyedropper tool from the draw tool by holding down the alt key. Now that my project is finished, I want to find out how many beads it uses of every color. 
To do that, I select the Info tool and then click on a bead. It now numbers each style of bead I used in the project, which can be helpful if two beads look similar. By clicking on this button, I can also download a bead list, which will tell me how many of each bead I need and how many beads are used in the project in total. I hope you've enjoyed this second beadographer tutorial. Thanks for watching.